Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be sharing a huge Sephora PR haul. I've opened up all of the boxes, but I haven't had a chance to really go through everything yet, but I know there are some new arrivals here, which is why I wanted to make sure that I showed you everything on camera before the end of the Sephora sale, just in case anything looks interesting to you. As always, anytime I do a PR haul, I like to do a giveaway, something for you guys, so make sure you watch until the very end. I've already announced the winner of the One Size Beauty Laneige giveaway from last week, and I'm currently in the midst of another giveaway with Rose Forever New York, which I talked about in my October Favorites video, so check it out in case you missed it. But if it's your first time here, welcome, I'm so happy you found me. This is our pink sparkly bubble on YouTube where we talk about luxury, beauty, fragrance, fashion, everything glam. So if that sounds good to you, join us by subscribing and don't forget to hit the notification bell. The very first box I have here to open was sent over from Sephora and this is for being on the Sephora squad of course. The other boxes were sent over from the brands directly. But this I peeked inside and it is actually filled with Sephora collection items which this is the very first time they sent an entire box filled with Sephora stuff. So I'm very excited. Some pretty Sephora wrapping paper, little cards. Let's see. So this just says Sephora Squad, and there's a list of everything that's on the back, including the prices and some information. This first item I'm incredibly familiar with. I talk about these all the time. It looks like they updated the packaging because these look different than the ones I have. These are the coconut cleansing wipes. It says 99% natural ingredients. These are supposed to be soothing. And there are 20 face and eye wipes in here. I think this is the same thing I have. So it turns out this is different from what I already have. I have the coconut water cleansing wipes for face and eyes. It says there are 25 wipes inside. It's, it is soothing. It doesn't say anything about being natural, but five additional wipes. So you can see the packaging is a little bit different. I get these in the travel size as well. Who knows, maybe it's a recent change and it used to be this, now it's this. I've gone through so many packets of these though. I love them. It must be new. It says the packet of wipes is a clean at Sephora brand and they're only $8, which is great. So it's not gonna break the bank. Here I have the moisturizing and glow mask. It's a leashy face mask. Sounds nice. This is the vitamin C and E serum. Ultra Glow Serum. Again, 97% of the ingredients are natural. This serum retails for $20. It says the serum is your skin's newest BFF. It boosts radiance while helping to even out skin tone. It looks like a nice thin gel. I love vitamin C and E. I have a lot of serums open at the moment, so I'm not going to open this up, but I'm definitely interested. I'm intrigued. We have some Hipster False Lashes. I don't really use fake lashes that often, but these look really natural. So I'll hold on to these. Here we have the Daily Clean Refresh, mini daily brush cleaner. I love this. I don't currently have anything like this. I've been using the Artiste wipes, which work really well in between deep cleans. I try to deep clean my brushes once a week. Usually it happens every other week. I love the convenience of a mini bottle like this. I can keep it close by in one of my drawers and that way if I feel like I really need to clean one of my brushes, I can just go in with the spray. And really the biggest reason I don't clean them more often is because it always feels like such a hassle and I have to set aside time and get some clean towels to lay down for the brushes to air dry and it becomes this whole big thing, which is why something like this will really come in handy. Here I have what looks like the Sephora version of Beauty Blender. It says the original total coverage sponge, reusable case and drying stand. So I guess you probably have to wet it. I generally like to use foundation brushes, but I'm not opposed to a sponge. It's nice to switch it up every once in a while. Every time I use a sponge, I remember how great they are. They also sent over the Deep Clean Solid. This is a solid brush and sponge cleaner. It includes the textured silicone pad for deep cleansing made with Moroccan argan oil for added conditioning. I'm impressed with these ingredients. Oh, so this is really nice. You get the little scrubby scrub. So you can just throw this down in the sink, run some water, wet the brush, 
and then just kind of work up a lather right here on the solid bar of soap. Use this. I have a big Sigma mitt and that's what I like to use, but this is just the mini version. It's the same thing. You just kind of work your brush in there. It helps build up some suds and then rinse it under water. So this will be great for whenever I do a deep cleaning versus the spray. I never like to spend a ton of money on my brush cleaning supplies. Generally, I use dish soap, like the really gentle dish soap, the ones that look kind of creamy. It's not really harsh and astringent. So that's pretty inexpensive. One bottle will last me a really long time because you only need such a small amount. But you need something that's going to, one, kill bacteria, but two, break down oils from the foundation. So I am excited to give these a try. Next up, I have this bag of goodies sent over from Huda Beauty. I did a masterclass with the educator I want to say from her team a week or two ago and it was to launch her brand new foundation stick. I'm not familiar with the cream version but I hear it's really popular so they sent over the banana bread easy bake loose powder. I have this water jelly hydrating primer. This looks very interesting completely clear. This brush oh I have played around with this brush just look at this brush it is so soft it reminds me a bit of the la mer brushes it is that soft it's tapered so it kind of has a pyramid shape i think this would be really nice for concealer underneath the eye you can get all of the little corners and then the other side is great for the entire face so this could be your foundation and concealer brush this is the Face Build and Buff Brush. Both sides are really huge. It feels really weighted and substantial, so I'm excited to play around with this. It looks very promising. I already really love that brush, just based on how soft it is. And then the last thing in the little baggie, they sent over three shades of the new Faux Filter Skin Finish Buildable Coverage Foundation Stick. So hopefully one of these will match me. I have Latte, 300N, Butter Pecan 330N, and Toasted Coconut 240N. This is 240N Toasted Coconut. I just kind of want to see. I think that's probably a good shade for me. I think that shade might be the best match, but I'm gonna test these out tomorrow and I'll see which one is the best shade and I will do a thorough review later on this week. Oh wow. That primer is so thin, it feels like water. My skin definitely looks more hydrated. A little bit goes such a long way, one pump could probably last your entire face down your neck chest decollete it's very thin i normally don't bake my concealer i don't think i ever baked even years ago when i probably could have gotten away with it now i don't think i could i think it would just look really dry and dusty so i do like powder i like to set especially my t-zone and concealer but i usually go in with the teeny tiniest bit of powder and i actually prefer something with a little luminosity to again help prevent it from looking too dry so i'm not sure this is really intended for me one of my favorite brands at sephora sent over a box a couple weeks ago this is from kopari and i love them so much but i've only tried a handful of products everything i've tried from them i love but i was really excited to get the box because they sent over a lot of products so the coconut melt i think is probably their number one product it is straight up organic coconut oil so many uses for this product you can rub it on your body you can apply it to your hair it just hydrates the skin it makes everything smell really amazing look really smooth it's solid at room temperature so you have to scoop out a dollop and warm it up in your hands and it just melts it is so delicious and beautiful they also sent over their coconut rose toner which i've never tried the tropical glow cleanser which again i've never tried 
This is the Sudsy Shower Oil, which sounds really good. I have a couple of the deodorants, which I already have in my bathroom. I love the Kopari deodorant. So this I'm going to set aside. You have to use it within a year, I think, because it is organic coconut oil. So if you don't use it, it will expire. Since I already have one open, I'm gonna save those. They also sent over the Coconut Water Moisture Cream and the lip gloss, which I have a couple of these lip glosses as well. They have a shimmering body oil, which is so beautiful. I currently have that in my bathroom. I love to apply that to the skin when I'm going to the beach or out in the evenings. It gives a really pretty bronze glow and the smell is incredible. I love the smell of coconut and I love coconut oil. So this line, this brand was made for me. I just ran out of my shower gel, so I'm gonna replace it with the Sudsy shower oil and we'll see. I'm kind of curious, I wanna smell it. Oh my gosh, it smells like pina colada. I'm gonna open this coconut rose toner as well. Let's see. Ooh, it's a mist. Mmm, and it smells like rose. These items arrived in the mail today. They were just sent over from First Aid Beauty, so two little gift sets here. The first one is $28. During the Sephora sale, you'll get your additional discount, but it's a $47 value. So you're already getting 40% savings. That's the minimum savings you will get with this set. So it looks like you get the Pure Skin Face Cleanser with the First Aid Beauty Antioxidant Booster, as well as the Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer. So you get a little cleanser moisturizer duo. This is really cute. The great thing about First Aid Beauty is that it's safe for sensitive skin, dermatologist tested, no artificial fragrance. If you have really sensitive skin, I think this is one of the few brands that you can use just about anything from. And then there's this larger set. This retails for $49, but it's a $127 value, so 61% savings, and this has just about everything. You have a full-size ultra repair lip therapy, full-size ultra repair cream, full-size eye duty, niacinamide brightening cream. Ooh, that sounds good. Face cleanser and full-size facial radiance pads. Everything in this box is full-size. Five full-size products for $49. I don't think you can beat that. I have two more boxes here to get through. This next box was sent over from Kevin O'Quan, which I did a masterclass with them last week as well. Over Zoom, of course, everything's over Zoom these days, but it was one of their national makeup artists led the class and he kind of took us step-by-step step through the Kevin O'Quan face. They sent over a box of their most popular hero products. So this first item is the contour book, volume three. This is the art of sculpting and defining palette. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like. It's an exclusive pro artist contour palette. So these right here are the contour powders. You have highlight shades and then one of the neo blushes. The card that comes inside gives really basic instructions. It has a huge mirror, so this would be great for traveling. Again, this would be great for a makeup artist kit. They also sent over the eyelash curler. And he said that this is supposed to be one of the best eyelash curlers ever. I never use an eyelash curler. In fact, I don't think I own an eyelash curler. This will be my first one. So maybe I should test it out. I don't know. For some reason, these things have always scared me. So I just avoid them altogether. This one's supposed to be great. So maybe I'll go ahead and unbox it and try it. They also sent over another Neo blush. This one is shade Sunset. The one in the palette is Venice. Let's see. I love this shade. So this one is really bold. Ooh, it's a bright golden coral. Here I have the Sensual Skin Primer. This is supposed to fill in any fine lines and pores. Oh, you know what? I have one of these. They sent over one of these, so I'm not going to touch that. This I will save and put aside because I don't want to open two of the same thing. 
I have the Sensual Skin Enhancer. This is a little base that helps to even out tone. So if you have really bad rosacea, something like this would be really nice. You only need a teeny tiny bit. It's color correcting, so it gets rid of uneven skin tone before you go on top with foundation and other complexion products. That way you don't have to use as much. So if you go in with a teeny tiny bit of this, like if you had redness on your cheeks and you just took a tiny dab and blended this on your cheek first, you wouldn't have to build up your foundation. I love the idea of this. Again, this is something that's great for makeup artists. It's not really everyday makeup, not for me, but for special occasion makeup when you're doing every last step and then some, this is perfect. And you want that perfect face, photography, brides, that sort of thing. The Sensual Skin Enhancer is beautiful. They also sent over, ooh, here's a sculpting powder, shade medium. So this is another contour powder. It has a cooler tone and it's flat matte, so it's not going to reflect light, it just casts a shadow. So it's really great for carving out, chiseling cheekbones. And then they sent over the Volume Mascara. But this one, he was saying it's tubular. It's always sort of funny when you go to wash it off and you see the tubes coming off your lashes. Even when I know I used a tube mascara, it, I just get panic in my chest, like, oh my gosh, I'm losing all of my eyelashes. Of course you're not. And the great thing is you can rinse it off with warm waters. And the final box was sent over complimentary from KVD Vegan Beauty, formerly known as Kat Von D Beauty. From what I understand, she has stepped away from the brand. They are continuing on without her. They didn't really change the name that much, but they're really putting a lot of emphasis on the vegan beauty aspect, which I think is really great. So they sent over a bunch of their new products including this Edge of Reality palette. It's their first fully recyclable eyeshadow palette. So let me show you that first because it's really pretty. I did peek inside the box. So this exterior packaging struck me. I think this is really nice looking. It feels really nice. It's kind of glossy. It doesn't look like paper. All of the little details, the edges, Everything about it looks really nice. It looks like an elevated cardboard palette. Of course, it is still cardboard. Ooh. I'm very curious to hear what you guys think of this color story. I think it's really pretty. I was kind of shocked whenever I opened up this palette and a fresh, clean palette always looks really beautiful. But I think they did a beautiful job. I think you could live in this top row if you really like warm colors, but if you want to play with some jewel tones, you have some pops of color down here. So the way the palette is laid out is even really pleasing to the eye. It looks like you have a nice mix of mattes and shimmers. I think I've only used two products from Kat Von D, the Tattoo Liner, which I love. It's one of the best black liquid eyeliners you can get for a really decent price point. And then they used to have this red lipstick. I wanna say the shade was called Bachelorette and it was my favorite strawberry red. That was years ago though, so I doubt they even make it anymore. But I've never tried any of the powder products. I've never had this shade, is it the shade and light palette? But they also sent over some of these new false lashes, natural, obviously more of a natural pair. They look really nice, these are pretty. Here is full. This is a more bold look, definitely. The last pair is dramatic, and these definitely look dramatic. Each set of lashes includes vegan glue as well. Here is the Shake Primer, High Impact Eyeshadow Primer. Ooh, it says you have to shake it. Oh, that's weird. It's really thin. I don't get it. <laughs> I really don't understand. I'm not going to pretend to be the expert here. It's kind of drying down to a tacky feel. I could see using this maybe if you're going to wet your eyeshadow to give it more impact. And it is called High Impact Eyeshadow Primer. Oh, now it's pretty sticky. But I was gonna say, it's so thin at first, I don't think I would use this as a glitter glue, 
but I also wouldn't want to cover my entire eye with this because it's it's really tacky now. It's so sticky. Shake well to mix. Remove cap. Press button on the bottom. Use finger to blend on lids. Let dry a few seconds before applying eyeshadow. I'll try it out. This is the last thing they sent over. It's these dazzle sticks. Long wear cream eyeshadow. I haven't opened all of them. I think I opened one of them. These launched recently. They remind me a lot of the Dior cream eyeshadow sticks because they have that cooling effect, but they're similar to the Laura Mercier or the Bobbi Brown sticks. It reminds me a lot of a caviar stick actually from Laura Mercier. This shade is called Lightning Strike. So something like this would be great for a holiday look, for a smoky eye. Definitely more evening, weekends. I love that color though. That's really pretty. The way I like to apply this type of product is with a brush. I will take a flat shader brush, pick up some product, and then I will glide it on. I know a lot of people like to use their finger, just go directly on the eye. Something like this is great for a quick little one and done. Just dab a little something on your eyelid. That is all I have to share today. So let's finally talk about this giveaway. I've been doing some rearranging over here and I am going to recycle one of these boxes. So the winner of today's giveaway is going to receive some really great stuff. I filled the box with all of the products that I already own and enjoy or things that I just know I will never get to and it would be such a shame for them to go to waste so somebody else is going to enjoy them. I threw in the Kat Von D eyelashes, three shades of the KVD Beauty Dazzle Stick, the Kopari Coconut Water Moisture Cream, two deodorants, a Kopari Coconut Oil Lip Glossy, the Kevin O'Quan Sensual Skin Primer, the Volume Mascara, the Kevin O'Quan Neo Blush and the Sculpting Powder. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw in the Kevin O'Quan Eyelash Curler. To enter, you must be subscribed with notifications on. Follow me on Instagram at Erin Nicole TV. Like and comment on this video with your Instagram handle, that way I can contact you. This time I'm including a bonus entry if you follow me in the Like to Know It app. The link, all of the information will be listed down below in the description box. The giveaway will remain open for one week, so it will close next Tuesday, and then the winner will be announced the following day on Instagram. So good luck to everybody who enters, and thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, questions down below. I would love to hear from you guys about any of these products. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned, everything on my face down below in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.